Biden's preferential treatment for illegals has gotten worse because, according to Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek, new photos inside a migrant facility, this one in McAllen, Texas, look at that, pallets and pallets of baby formula for illegal immigrants and their families. Even as hardworking American families, we're now suffering a massive uh, a nationwide formula shortage. We re reached out to the White House and the Department of Homeland Security for comment, yet to hear back. Here with reaction, Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek is with us. Uh, wow. Um, I know people, parents, they cannot get the formula that they desperately need. Now, I'm not against helping out families, but they're not enforcing the law. These are not people that respected our borders, our laws, and our sovereignty. Why wouldn't all the pallets go to American families first. Well, you know, Sean, that's the crazy thing, just how insane everything is right now that we're even having this discussion. But it points to what a total dumpster fire the Biden administration truly is. Look, the Biden administration is responsible for this formula shortage. You know, back in November, their own FDA shut the number one manufacturer of baby formula down on a tip with no plan to backfill the 43% that this manufacturer is a part of the market share. So again, typical Biden administration, no plan, no contingencies, no uh, way to backfill 43% of our nation's supply of baby formula. Yet just today, I'm getting word from Border Patrol agents that there is a tractor trailer full of pallets of baby formula sitting in that storeroom. Come on now, this is exactly what America last looks like. You've got parents so panicking, kids getting sick, and the humanitarian mission at the border, the, the agents are doing the best job that they can, but man, their hands are tied. Uh, and, and Jen Psaki says, oh, go ask your doctor how to do it. What, what, is, the, what is the doctor going to produce the, the baby formula? What's fascinating is you post this on Facebook, and then you go to your district in Florida, and you show empty shelves where baby formula is supposed to be, and they're all empty. So, yep. so we don't have any but illegal immigrants are getting a top priority. Now, we also give preferential treatment. They don't have COVID tests because they're not going to be here very long, we were told. They don't have vaccine mandates. They get free transportation. And my favorite is every illegal immigrant is getting a Biden phone bought and paid for by the United States taxpayer. That's 100 percent. Again, America last. That is what the Biden administration is all about. And, you know, you said that the DHS headquarters hadn't got back to you with a comment. I heard tonight that they have prohibited rank and file Border Patrol agents from going into those storerooms because they're panicked that we have exposed this America last agenda. This has to stop. We need to put our kids first and this has to end. Biden's got to go. November's coming. All right, Congresswoman, good job. Thank you for sharing that with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.